What is mechanical engineering and what do mechanical engineers do? There's a common misconception that mechanical engineering is all about fixing cars or working only with machines. But there's actually so much more to this field. And in this video, I'm going to delve into the diverse realms that mechanical engineers explore and unveil to you guys the true scope of mechanical engineering. And I want to break this video down into three parts. Firstly, the subjects that mechanical engineers are required to study. Secondly, the tools and the software they use for their daily work. And finally, the practical applications and industries that mechanical engineers work in. So without further ado, let's get started. So let's get into the fundamentals, right? There are certain core subjects that mechanical engineers should be familiar with. These subjects are the building blocks that form the foundation of the field of mechanical engineering as a whole. These subjects are mechanics, thermodynamics, material science, and fluid mechanics. Now mechanics is the backbone of mechanical engineering. It's all about how objects react and move when forces are applied to them. We want to make sure that our creations are strong, stable, and capable of doing what we want them to do. Some key topics within mechanics are statics, dynamics, and equilibrium. Statics is about objects at rest, where forces are balanced and nothing is moving. We analyze forces and moments to be able to understand how structures, buildings, bridges, and other mechanical components can stay stable and intact. Next up, we have dynamics. This is where we deal with objects in motion and the forces that act on them. Mechanical engineers explore cool stuff like acceleration, velocity, and inertia. With dynamics principles, we can design moving systems like machinery, vehicles, and robots. It's all about making things go. Next is equilibrium. It's about making sure that forces and moments on an object are in balance. By understanding equilibrium, we can analyze complex systems and make sure that everything is distributed and balanced properly. We want to avoid any unnecessary stresses or failures. By mastering these mechanics principles, mechanical engineers can ensure to create structures and machines that are safe, reliable, and efficient. We want our designs to withstand the real-world motions and forces they'll face. The second core subject in mechanical engineering is thermodynamics, a crucial part in mechanical engineering that's all about energy transfer and heat. We need to think about efficiency and optimizing energy usage in our designs. In thermodynamics, we have some key concepts to get acquainted with. First off is temperature. It's about measuring the average energy that a particle has in a substance. It helps us understand how materials behave and how energy moves around. Pressure is another big player. It's the force exerted per unit area and it's essential when dealing with fluids like gases or liquids. We need to understand how pressure impacts fluid dynamics and the design of systems involving these substances. Energy conversion is also part of thermodynamics. It's about transforming energy from one form to another. Whether it's power plants or internal combustion engines, we use thermodynamic principles to make sure that energy conversion processes are as efficient as possible. By getting a good grip on thermodynamics, mechanical engineers can design systems that minimize waste, save energy, and contribute to sustainable engineering practices. It's all about being energy efficient. Moving on to materials science, a vital area of knowledge for mechanical engineers. We need to understand the behavior and properties of different materials to be able to choose the right ones for specific applications. We want our mechanical systems to be strong and long lasting. Materials behavior is another important aspect. We need to understand how materials deform, fracture, and react to external forces. This behavior helps us predict and prevents failures in mechanical components. Remember, safety always comes first. When it comes to material selection, mechanical engineers must make informed decisions. We consider things like cost, availability, environmental impact, and performance characteristics. We want the perfect fit for each project. By mastering material science, mechanical engineers can make wise materials choices, design components with the right materials, and ensure that our mechanical systems can stand the test of time. Finally, let us take a dive into fluid mechanics. 
It's about understanding how liquids and gases behave and interact with solid objects. This knowledge is crucial when designing systems that involve fluid flow. In fluid mechanics, we look at properties like viscosity, density, and compressibility. These properties affect how fluids behave and how we design systems that involve fluid flow. It's like getting to know the personality of fluids. Flow dynamics is another big piece of the puzzle. We study how fluids flow, whether it's smooth and orderly or chaotic and turbulent. This understanding helps us optimize system designs and minimize energy losses. Remember, mechanical engineers are all about efficiency. Fluid forces are also a big deal. When objects are in fluids, forces like buoyancy and drag come into play. Whether it's submarines, aircraft wings, or pipelines, we need to consider these forces when designing structures that interact with fluids. By wrapping our heads around fluids mechanics, mechanical engineers can design fluid systems that are efficient, predict how fluids will behave, and optimize the performance of devices that rely on fluid flow. We're making things flow smoothly. Now let us talk about the awesome tools and software that mechanical engineers use to make their lives easier and tackle those complex engineering challenges. First up, we have CAD or Computer Aided Design. It's like a superhero for mechanical engineers. CAD software allows us to create detailed 2D or 3D models of our designs with incredible precision and efficiency. With CAD, mechanical engineers can bring their ideas to life on a computer screen. We can visualize our concepts, play around with different designs, and even test out different configurations before jumping into the manufacturing phase. It's like having a virtual prototype, which saves us a ton of time and resources. CAD software also makes collaboration very simple. Engineers can easily share their designs, get feedback from teammates, and make necessary tweaks without any hassle. It's become a standard tool in the industry, boosting up productivity and speeding up the design process. Next in our toolbox is FEA or Finite Element Analysis. This is one powerful tool. FEA software allows mechanical engineers to simulate and analyze how their designs will hold up in different conditions and loads. By breaking down complex structures into smaller elements, FEA software gives engineers a clear picture of how forces and stresses are distributed in the design. It helps them spot potential weak spots, areas that might experience too much stress, or places that could deform or fail. Through FEA simulations, mechanical engineers can fine-tune their designs, make informed choices about materials, and ensure the overall structural integrity of their creations. It's a game changer in fields like structural engineering, automotive design, and aerospace engineering, where safety and performance are top priorities. Last but not least, we have CFD or Computational Fluid Dynamics. This tool that mechanical engineers use is all about understanding how fluids will behave and interact with different surfaces. It's like diving into a virtual world of fluid flow, heat transfer, and all that good stuff. CFD software allows mechanical engineers to accurately predict and visualize fluid behavior. We can see how fluids flow, where pressure builds up, and how heat is transferred. This knowledge is super important for optimizing designs, improving energy efficiency, and ensuring the performance of devices like pumps, turbines, and heat exchangers. With CFD simulations, engineers can play around with different design configurations, test out various fluid properties, and identify areas where improvements can be made. It's like having a crystal ball that helps us make data-driven decisions, enhance system performance, and catch potential issues before they can become real problems. The integration of these tools and software like CAD, FEA, and CFD has completely transformed the way mechanical engineers do their work. It's like we've got a whole team of superheroes by our side, boosting up productivity, accuracy, and innovation. Now let us talk about the practical applications of mechanical engineering. Mechanical engineers can work in a wide range of industries. First off, the automotive industry. From designing engines and transmissions to optimizing vehicle performance, mechanical engineers can play a crucial role in the automotive industry. Secondly, the aerospace industry. Mechanical engineers contribute to the design and development of aircraft, spacecraft, 
and related systems. They focus on ensuring safety, efficiency, and reliability. The third industry is energy. Mechanical engineers are involved in the design and optimization of energy systems, including renewable energy technologies, power generation, and energy storage. And the fourth industry that mechanical engineers can work in is the manufacturing industry. Mechanical engineers play a key role in manufacturing processes, ensuring efficient production, quality control, and optimization of manufacturing systems. Now in this video, I've touched upon the core aspects of mechanical engineering, but it's important to note that there's a plethora of subjects, tools, and industries that mechanical engineers delve into, which I could not include in this video due to time. However, I've made sure to cover the main highlights that shed light into the wide ranging tasks and responsibilities undertaken by mechanical engineers. So there you have it guys, a guide to almost everything you need to know about the basics of mechanical engineering. I hope this video has provided you with valuable insights and sparked your curiosity to dive deeper into this fascinating field. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't because I'll be posting a lot more mechanical engineering content on a consistent basis that you do not want to miss out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.